there, what's up guys? Joker here, and welcome to the third and final vlog that I'm doing for my Z170 test system, aka Dark Slunt Rising. Just went out today, actually, up to the New Egg warehouse and picked up the last part that I needed for this build, and I picked up the i5-6600K. Now, I know I've been saying that I was going to get the i7-6700K, but they still do not have them in stock anywhere here in the United States, and I was getting a little bit impatient, and I've also got a pile of hardware that needs to be reviewed, like my EVGA GTX 980 Ti, as well as the Sapphire Fury card that I need to get reviewed over the course of this weekend. So I decided I was just going to pick up the i5-6600K so that I can get the build up and running and you know in the coming weeks I still might pick up the 6700K because I think I could make some interesting videos out of that comparing the i5 to the i7 and if that's something you guys would like to see then let me know down in the comments below because I think it would be an interesting video to see what kind of you know performance we could see with the i5 versus the i7 because a lot of these games you know coming out like over the past year and coming out in the future are recommending i7s for a lot of the recommended requirements we just seen that recently with the new Metal Gear Solid game as well as Mad Max I did the system requirement videos for both of those and on the recommended requirements for both they recommended i7 and I'm always saying, you know, I don't know why they're recommending these i7s when you can really get away with using an i5. So I want to test those two chips, you know, i5 versus i7, as well as my 5820K, and see what really the the, uh, the difference is there, and see if the i5 is a bottleneck, as maybe some of these system requirements are making it out to be, especially when paired with a high-end GPU like the 980 Ti or the Sapphire Fury, and then also maybe see, even seeing the benefits on, you know, Windows 10 and seeing what the performance is like there. So if there's anything you guys want to see centered around Skylakes or i5s and i7s and Windows 10, let me know down in the comments below the kind of videos you would like to see. And if I can do it, then I would definitely be happy to bring those videos to you guys. Uh, also with Skylakes, some content that I'm planning to do is I want to test out streaming performance with different processors because I see a lot of game performance reviews and, you know, people talking about that with Skylakes lake and but I also want to address streaming because Twitch streaming is becoming more and more popular even for people that aren't heavy content creators there are a lot of just casual gamers that just want to get on and stream every now and again on Twitch and sort of dip their toes in that water and just have have fun and interact with people over on Twitch because it is a lot of fun to stream your games and have an audience to interact with while you are gaming. So I want to test out i5 versus i7 for that as well as my six, my 5820K. So I think that could make for some really interesting videos. But let me know down in the comments below if that's something you want to see. So in case you have not been following along with what I've got here for this build, I've got everything, like I said, that I need right now. I got the i5-6600K. That was the last thing I needed. I've also got the 980Ti that I'm going to be reviewing in this system, and that's probably going to be the daily driver GPU in this system, but I've also got a 970 laying around that I could test as well, and also got the Fury card. So there's going to be, you know, um, the graphics card in this system is going to, be kind of rotating as you know different GPUs come in. I'm supposed to be getting a 390 Nitro uh, pretty soon from Sapphire, so I'm going to be testing that up against the 970. So the GPU is really going to be like one of the, the parts in the system that's always going to be you know changing out you know based on what I'm reviewing at that time. Uh, for the motherboard, I got the EVGA Z170 FTW edition, which was $220. Uh, they had the classified board, which has a few more bells and whistles, but it is $400. And I just couldn't really justify that expense uh, for that motherboard. Since this is not going to be my daily driver system, it's going to be just a test system. So I didn't really need the extra frills that was, would come with the classified uh, version of the EVGA Z170 board. And I'm really happy with the FTW edition, seeing it so far it's got a really nice black aesthetic which is going to be fitting in with this build the dark slunt rising all black build so it looks really great uh, and probably one of the best looking z170 
all black boards that I've seen out there. There are a few other ones out there. MSI has sort of like a low-end one uh, called the uh, Z170 Mate. Um, there's a couple other boards out there that are, that are almost all black, but this was the one that I liked the most. And I've never used an EVGA motherboard, so I'm looking forward to getting in there and trying out the BIOS and see what I can do in there. And overclocking, definitely going to be overclocking. Maybe do an overclocking guide for Skylake if that's something people are interested in doing. Uh, as far as with the overclocking, I am going to have a liquid cooler on there. I've got the Lictec uh, from Enermax, the 240, 240mm radiator that was sponsored out by Canuck Gamer. Thanks again to to Canuck Gamer, Michael from Canuck Gamer for sponsoring that out. Really awesome of him to do that. Be sure to check his channel out if you guys want to see some really high quality videos. I've actually sort of uh, brought him along in a lot of ways and advised him, you know, what like with, with PC build and, you know, camera equipment and lighting and audio and all that stuff. So his content, you know, even for a small channel that's just starting out, he's, I think he's about 150 subs right now. His video quality is really top notch because I've advised him not to toot my own horn, but I have advised him along the way with him building up his channel and starting out. So definitely check out Canuck Gamer if you want to see some high quality PC related content. Um, for the case, I've got the Define R5 Blackout Edition and also, and then for the power supply, another fractal design. I've got the Edison 750 watt, which is a semi modular power supply. The case and the power supply were both sponsored out by Fractal Design. So thank you so much to Josh and Fractal Design for sponsoring those out. It's really great to have a company like that that is open, uh, you know, to interacting and sending out products for smaller channels because my channel is still relatively small and it can be hard to get review samples for products sometimes. So big thanks to Fractal Design for sponsoring out those parts. RAM for the system is the Corsair Vengeance LPX clocked at 2666 megahertz. Hopefully I can get it at that clock in this motherboard. The Z170 boards are supporting DDR4, so looking forward to using that. I've already got the same exact memory actually in my X99 build, so I know it's good I know it's a good performer and it's got that nice black aesthetic and it's also uh, sort of like a low profile RAM, so it doesn't really take up a lot of room and if you were going to do something with like an air cooler, you can be rest assured that you wouldn't have any issues with clearance since it is that low profile RAM. Uh, main drive in the system is going to be a 500 gigabyte Samsung 850 Evo, which is the same thing that I have as my boot drive in my main system. Didn't decide to get a mechanical drive to go in here because it's only going to be a test system. So it's really just going to be some startup programs and then games basically in benchmarks for testing in this system. So 500 gigabytes should be all I need for the system to have the boot drive and then all my games on there and stuff that I'm going to be benchmarking and the Samsung 850 Evo drive uh, SSDs are just rock solid performers and really really fast using that 3D NAND technology. But yeah, that basically rounds up the, you know, the parts that are going to be going in this system. If you want links to anything uh, that I got for the system, you can go ahead and check out the Amazon links that are going to be down in the description below. And if you do use those links, then they will go to help support the channel. So I would appreciate it if you guys did take the time to use those links. If you are thinking about picking up anything that I am using in this system. And also let me know in the comments again, once again, uh, you know, if there's any specific videos you're interested in seeing centered specifically around Skylake or any of the parts that I'm using in this system, then let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to try to bring those videos to you guys. I'm always looking for fresh ideas for videos. So if there's something that I didn't come up with it already and it's something you want to see, let me know and I'll do my best to bring that content to you. So yeah, that wraps up all the parts that I have for this new test system. Looking forward to building it tomorrow. Going to be doing a live stream of the entire build. So keep an eye out on Twitter and your subscription feed on YouTube for when that's getting ready to go live. I'm probably thinking around maybe noon or one o'clock Eastern time to start it. Hopefully there's enough people around at that time we can get in there. And I'm also going to be doing some filming if, uh, during that. And I'm going to be doing a... Uh, completed build video probably the day after sat or Saturday or Sunday have a full completed video that I'm going to edit together and make look you know really good and everything like that and then bring you guys my performance and you know tell you you know how I felt about everything and just basically give you a review of my experience building the entire system and the cooling with the Lick Tech cooler and how far I can get the overclock and GPU performance and all that stuff so looking forward to bringing that video to you guys as well over the weekend and I think the live stream of the entire build is going to be a lot of fun so I do hope to see you guys in there but I'm going to go ahead and get out of here now guys and I'll catch you tomorrow for the build Terra.